popular agricultural lands in the world. Agricultural lands are a vital part of the global economy, providing food, fiber, and other products for people around the world. There are many different types of agricultural lands, ranging from SM. LL family farms to large industrial farms. Some of the most common types of agricultural lands in the world include arable lands, pasture lands, and rangelands. LL family farms to large industrial farms. Some of the most common types of agricultural lands in the world include arable lands, pasture lands, and rangelands. Arable lands are lands that are used for the cultivation of crops. These lands are usually intensively managed and are used to grow a variety of crops, including grains, fruits, and vegetables. Arable Lands are typically found in temperate climates and are often irrigated to ensure optimal crop production. Lands are typically found in temperate climates and are often irrigated to ensure optimal crop production. Pasture lands are lands that are used for the grazing of livestock. These lands are usually managed in a more natural way, with the livestock being allowed to roam freely and feed on the grasses and their vegetation in the area. Pasture lands are typically found in temperate climates and are often used to raise cattle, sheep, and other animals. Their vegetation in the area. Pasture lands are typically found in temperate climates and are often used to raise cattle, sheep, and other animals. Rangelands are lands that are used for the grazing of wild animals. These lands are usually managed in a more natural way, with the animals being allowed to roam freely and feed on the grasses and not. Er vegetation in the area Rangelands are typically found in arid climates and are often used to raise goats, horses, and other animals. Er vegetation in the area. Rangelands are typically found in arid climates and are often used to raise goats, horses, and other animals. In conclusion, agricultural lands are a vital part of the global economy, providing food, fiber, and other products for people around the world. There are many different types of agricultural lands, including arable lands, pasture lands, and rangelands. These lands are managed in a variety of ways and are used to grow a variety of crops and raise a variety of animals. Including arable lands, pasture lands, and rangelands. These lands are managed in a variety of ways and are used to grow a variety of crops and raise a variety of animals. Common agricultural lands, also known as arable lands, are areas of land that are used for agricultural purposes, such as farming and livestock grazing. These lands are found all over the world, and re-important for producing food and other agricultural products that are essential for human survival. Re-important for producing food and other agricultural products that are essential for human survival. Some of the most common types of arable lands include grasslands, forests, and wetlands. Grasslands are often used for grazing livestock, while forests are used for timber production and the cult of it. On of crops such as coffee and cocoa. Wetlands are important for rice cultivation and aquaculture, as well as for the production of other crops such as sugar cane and tobacco. On of crops such as coffee and cocoa. Wetlands are important for rice cultivation and aquaculture, as well as for the production of other crops such as sugar cane and tobacco. In addition to these natural lands, Arable lands can also be created through the process of land reclamation. This involves converting areas of land that were previously unsuitable for agriculture in. O oh, productive farmland. Land reclamation is often used in regions where land is scarce, such as in coastal areas or in areas with high population densities. 
O productive farmland. Land reclamation is often used in regions where land is scarce, such as in coastal areas or in areas with high population densities. Despite the importance of arable lands for food production, these lands are under threat from a variety of factors, including urbanization, soil erosion, and climate change. As more and more land is Onverted for urban use, the amount of arable land available for agriculture decreases. Soil erosion, caused by factors such as over-farming and deforestation, can also reduce the productivity of Arab. Onverted for urban use, the amount of arable land available for agriculture decreases. Soil erosion, caused by factors such as over-farming and deforestation, can also reduce the productivity of Arab. E-lands, making it more difficult to grow crops and raise livestock. Finally, climate change can have a significant impact on arable lands, affecting factors such as temperature, rainfall, and soil F. In conclusion, arable lands are an important resource for human survival, providing food and other agricultural products that are essential for our well-being. While these lands are found all over th. world, they are under threat from a variety of factors, including urbanization, soil erosion, and climate change. It is important to protect and preserve these lands for future generations, to ensure world, they are under threat from a variety of factors, including urbanization, soil erosion, and climate change. It is important to protect and preserve these lands for future generations, to ensure that we continue to have access to the food and resources that we need to survive. Some of the most productive agricultural lands in the world lie in vast plains and valleys with ideal combinations of climate, soil fertility, and access to irrigation water. These areas have history. Ally supported dense populations and advanced civilizations through their ability to produce abundant and diverse crops. Ally supported dense populations and advanced civilizations through their ability to produce abundant and diverse crops. The North China Plain, centered around the Yellow River Valley in eastern China, contains some of the oldest and most intensively farmed lands on the planet. The highly fertile lowest soils deposited. Why winds have long enabled multiple harvests of grain crops per year. With dense irrigation infrastructure and an annual flood cycle from the Yellow River, the North China Plain produces over one thir. Why winds have long enabled multiple harvests of grain crops per year? With dense irrigation infrastructure and an annual flood cycle from the Yellow River, the North China Plain produces over one thir. Of China's wheat and one fourth of its corn. The Indo-Gangetic Plain shared between India, Pakistan and Bangladesh is another global breadbasket, watered by the Indus, Ganges and Brahmaputra river systems. The alluvial soils deposited over mill. Mia by seasonal floods support extensive cultivation of rice, wheat, sugarcane salmon, and vegetables. The Indo-Gangetic Plain produces the bulk of the agricultural output for several hundred million. Mia by seasonal flood support extensive cultivation of rice, wheat, sugarcane salmon, and vegetables. The Indo-Gangetic Plain produces the bulk of the agricultural output for several hundred million. Apple The Midwest region of the United States, centered around the Great Plains and Mississippi River Valley, consists of some of the most fertile soils on Earth. The characteristic deep, black Chernizyam S. Ill support high-yielding crops of corn, soybeans, wheat as well as livestock grazing on forage grasses. Aggressive use of agricultural technology, mechanization, and irrigation has enabled Midwester. 
ill support high-yielding crops of corn, soybeans, wheat as well as livestock grazing on forage grasses. Aggressive use of agricultural technology, mechanization, and irrigation has enabled Midwester. Farmers to produce a significant portion of the global supply of commodity grain crops. The Iberian Meseta of Spain and Portugal sits at one of the largest plateaus in Europe and contains some of its most extensive agricultural plains. Dryland farming of wheat, barley and other cereals. Has long occurred on the fertile ruddy soils deposited over limestone bedrock. Mechanization and improved irrigation infrastructure have allowed expansion of higher value fruit orchards, vineyards and has long occurred on the fertile ruddy soils deposited over limestone bedrock. Mechanization and improved irrigation infrastructure have allowed expansion of higher value fruit orchards, vineyards and vegetable production for domestic and export markets. The Nile Valley and Delta of Northeast Africa feature some of the oldest and most intensively irrigated agricultural lands in the world. Seasonal flooding from the Nile River deposits fertile sediment. S that replenish soil fertility. Hundreds of irrigation canals fan out from the Nile to provide year-round water for cultivating high-yielding crops of rice, wheat, maize, sugarcane, fruit and more. S that replenish soil fertility. Hundreds of irrigation canals fan out from the Nile to provide year-round water for cultivating high-yielding crops of rice, wheat, maize, sugarcane, fruit and more. He Nile Valley and Delta produces the majority of agricultural output for Egypt and Sudan. Outside of river valleys and floodplains, vast tracts of relatively flat lands were open to mechanized farming in the 20th century. The Argentine Pampas, spanning the northeastern and central Prov. This of Argentina, feature some of the most productive and extensive arable lands in South America. High-yielding wheat and soybean crops thrive thanks to rich loess soils as well as favorable climate. This of Argentina, feature some of the most productive and extensive arable lands in South America. High-yielding wheat and soybean crops thrive thanks to rich loess soils as well as favorable climate. With moderate rainfall and low variation in seasonal temperatures. The Influence of Geography on Business and Commercial Activities Geography plays a significant role in shaping business and commercial activities, affecting everything from supply chains and logistics to marketing and sales. The Physical and Cultural Landscape of Location can impact business operations in a variety of ways, including access to resources, transportation, and market demand. Location can impact business operations in a variety of ways, including access to resources, transportation, and market demand. One of the most important influences of geography on business is the availability of natural resources. Regions with abundant natural resources, such as oil, minerals, and timber, can attract industry. As that rely on these resources for their products. For example, the Middle East's oil reserves have made it a major player in the global energy industry, while the forests of the Pacific Northwest H. S that rely on these resources for their products. For example, the Middle East's oil reserves have made it a major player in the global energy industry, while the forests of the Pacific Northwest H. They attracted logging and paper manufacturing companies. Geography can also impact transportation and logistics, which are critical components of many businesses. The location of ports, highways, and airports can influence the cost and efficiency of moving goods and people, and can determine which markets are accessible to businesses. 
For example, the Panama Canal connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, making it a key transportation route for goods. Goods and people, and can determine which markets are accessible to businesses. For example, the Panama Canal connects the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, making it a key transportation route for goods. Raveling between the Americas and Asia Cultural geography can also influence business activities, particularly in terms of marketing and sales. Understanding the cultural norms and preferences of a region can help businesses tailor their products and marketing strategies to better appeal to local consumers. For example, fast food chains often modify their menus and branding to cater to local tastes and customs in different countries. Products and marketing strategies to better appeal to local consumers. For example, fast food chains often modify their menus and branding to cater to local tastes and customs in different countries. Finally, the physical geography of a location can also impact the resilience of businesses to natural disasters and other environmental hazards. Businesses located in areas prone to earthquakes, her. Canes, or flooding may need to invest in additional infrastructure and disaster preparedness measures to minimize the risk of damage or disruption to their operations. Canes, or flooding may need to invest in additional infrastructure and disaster preparedness measures to minimize the risk of damage or disruption to their operations. Overall, the influence of geography on business and commercial activities is complex and multifaceted. Understanding the unique geographical features and cultural contexts of a location can help BUSI. S's make informed decisions about where to locate, how to operate, and how to market their products and services to maximize their success. S's make informed decisions about where to locate, how to operate, and how to market their products and services to maximize their success. Geography plays an important role in shaping where and how businesses operate across the world. Physical geographic features, climatic conditions and the location of markets all influence the Comerc. L activities that thrive in different regions. L activities that thrive in different regions. Access to natural resources has historically driven the development of resource-based industries in particular geographic areas. For example, manufacturing industries emerged around abundant water power. Are from rivers and streams in the 18th and 19th centuries. Access to fossil fuel reserves like coal, oil and natural gas in certain regions has spurred the growth of energy industries and petrochemica. Are from rivers and streams in the 18th and 19th centuries. Access to fossil fuel reserves like coal, oil and natural gas in certain regions has spurred the growth of energy industries and petrochemica. Businesses. Abundance of agricultural land, arable soils, water and sunlight also determine where farming and agricultural production activities concentrate. The distribution of natural resources impacts the comparative advantage of regions for certain commercial industries. Areas rich in metal ores attract mining operations and smelting plants. Forested. Agents give rise to lumber, paper and wood product industries. Coastal and port locations facilitate fishing, shipping and trade-oriented businesses. Geographic distribution of resources thus influence. Agents give rise to lumber, paper and wood product industries. Coastal and port locations facilitate fishing, shipping and trade-oriented businesses. Geographic distribution of resources thus influence. As the production, distribution and pricing of commodities on regional and global scales. Transportation infrastructure helps link businesses to needed inputs, markets and supply chains. Access to railroad lines, highways, airports and shipping ports lessens transportation costs for business. So as well broadening their potential consumer bases. 
Transport hubs and network nodes connected by multiple modes often agglomerate businesses that benefit from shared infrastructure and accessify. So as well broadening their potential consumer bases. Transport hubs and network nodes connected by multiple modes often agglomerate businesses that benefit from shared infrastructure and accessify. A. Proximity to major transport routes and hubs can determine whether geographic locations emerge as commercial centers. Location near population centers and markets aids businesses by bringing them closer to customers, clients, laborers and specialized suppliers. Businesses tend to concentrate near urban areas with law. GE consumer bases, specialized skills, and networks that facilitate exchange of information and ideas. This agglomeration boosts productivity and innovation through clustering of commercial and indus. GE consumer bases, specialized skills, and networks that facilitate exchange of information and ideas. This agglomeration boosts productivity and innovation through clustering of commercial and indus. Real activity. However, being located near competitors can also sharpen pressures to adapt, innovate and optimize operations for companies. Climatic conditions impact businesses by influencing labor productivity, transport networks, energy demands and availability of natural resources. Mild climates tend to support more commercial active eye. I.e. because they lessen burdens of climate control heat stress on laborers, effects of inclement weather and damages from extreme events. Access to abundant and reliable water supplies is important. I.e. because they lessen burdens of climate control, heat stress on laborers, effects of inclement weather and damages from extreme events. Access to abundant and reliable water supplies is important. Or many manufacturing processes and urban centered commercial industries. Climate change projections of more extreme weather, water stress, and natural disasters also factor into companies long term. While many factors outside their control shape the geographic context for business, companies do exert influence over specific locations through their practices and investments. Business Activity C. and degrade environments, strains resource bases and alter climatic conditions in geographic areas where they operate. However, companies also have potential to invest in more sustainable practices, in and degrade environments, strains resource bases and alter climatic conditions in geographic areas where they operate. However, companies also have potential to invest in more sustainable practices, in Ovative technologies and human capacity building that enhances the viability of places for future commercial activities. Strategic integration of environmental, social and governance factors into GEO. In summary, geography profoundly influences where and how commercial activities take root and prosper. Yet business decisions also leave imprints on the places they inhabit. Companies that recognize He interplay between geographic factors, sustainable development and long-term commercial viability will be best positioned to thrive within the constraints and opportunities presented by specific low. He interplay between geographic factors, sustainable development and long-term commercial viability will be best positioned to thrive within the constraints and opportunities presented by specific low. Asians for the foreseeable future. Geography plays a significant role in shaping business and commercial activities around the world. The physical location of a business can have a major impact on its success, as it affects factors so. H is access to resources, transportation, and markets. H is access to resources, transportation, and markets. One of the most important ways that geography influences business is through access to resources. Businesses that are located near natural resources such as timber, minerals, or oil can have a significant 
can't advantage over competitors, as they can access these resources more easily and at a lower cost. For example, businesses in the Middle East that are located near oil reserves have a significant A. Can't advantage over competitors, as they can access these resources more easily and at a lower cost. For example, businesses in the Middle East that are located near oil reserves have a significant A. Vantage in the global oil market Geography also plays a role in transportation and logistics. Businesses that are located near major transportation hubs such as ports, airports, or highways can more easily transport goods and moderate. The Rocky Lands of the World Rocky lands in the world are areas of land characterized by rocky terrain and often sparse vegetation. These areas are often found in mountainous regions, and they provide a unique habitat for orang. Of plant and animal species Rocky lands can also be found in deserts and other arid regions, and they often provide an important source of water for animals and plants. Of plant and animal species Rocky lands can also be found in deserts and other arid regions, and they often provide an important source of water for animals and plants. Rocky lands are often characterized by steep slopes and rocky outcrops, and they can be found in a variety of climates. In mountainous regions, they are often found at high altitudes and can be cover. D with snow and ice during the winter months. In arid regions, they can be found in dry, rocky areas with sparse vegetation. D with snow and ice during the winter months. In arid regions, they can be found in dry, rocky areas with sparse vegetation. Rocky lands are home to a variety of plant and animal species, and they provide an important habitat for many species that are adapted to living in these conditions. For example, many species of bird. Reptiles and mammals are found in rocky lands, and they rely on the vegetation and water found in these habitats. In addition, many species of plants are adapted to living in rocky lands, and they Reptiles and mammals are found in rocky lands, and they rely on the vegetation and water found in these habitats. In addition, many species of plants are adapted to living in rocky lands, and they Provide food and shelter for the animals that inhabit these areas. Rocky lands in the world are an important part of the global environment, and they provide an important habitat for a range of species. From providing food and shelter for animals to helping to regal. Tay the water cycle, rocky lands play an important role in sustaining the planet and its inhabitants. It is essential that we protect and conserve these habitats in order to ensure their continued exe. Tay the water cycle, rocky lands play an important role in sustaining the planet and its inhabitants. It is essential that we protect and conserve these habitats in order to ensure their continued exe. Tense Rocky lands are some of the most unique and fascinating environments on Earth. These landscapes are characterized by their rugged terrain, sparse vegetation, and harsh climate conditions. Rocky lands can be found in many different regions of the world, from the deserts of the American Southwest to the high plateaus of Tibet. Can be found in many different regions of the world from the deserts of the American Southwest to the high plateaus of Tibet. One of the most famous rocky landscapes in the world is the Grand Canyon, located in Arizona, USA. This spectacular natural wonder is carved out of the Colorado Plateau and is characterized by towering. G cliffs, deep canyons, and winding rivers. The Grand Canyon is not only a popular destination for tourists, but also an important site for scientific research, with geologists studying its unique row. G cliffs, deep canyons, and winding rivers. The Grand Canyon is not only a popular destination for tourists, 
but also an important site for scientific research, with geologists studying its unique row. K formations and the processes that have shaped this incredible landscape over millions of years. Another famous rocky landscape is the Sahara Desert, which covers much of northern Africa. The Sahara is characterized by its vast expanses of sand dunes, rocky outcroppings, and dry riverbeds. Despi? In its harsh conditions, the Sahara is home to a variety of wildlife, including camels, foxes, and gazelles, that have adapted to living in this challenging environment. In its harsh conditions, the Sahara is home to a variety of wildlife, including camels, foxes, and gazelles, that have adapted to living in this challenging environment. In South America, the Andes Mountains are another famous rocky landscape. This mountain range stretches for over 7,000 kilometers and is home to some of the highest peaks in the world, including Akan. Agua in Argentina and Chimborazo in Ecuador. The Andes are also home to unique ecosystems, such as the high-altitude Paramo grasslands, which are characterized by their rocky terrain, sparse vegetati. Agua in Argentina and Chimborazo in Ecuador. The Andes are also home to unique ecosystems, such as the high-altitude Paramo grasslands, which are characterized by their rocky terrain, sparse vegetati. N. and Extreme Climate Conditions In Asia, the Tibetan Plateau is another famous rocky landscape. This high-altitude plateau is known as the roof of the world and is characterized by its barren, rocky terrain, frigid temperatures. N. D. Thin Air Despite its inhospitable conditions, the Tibetan Plateau is home to a variety of unique plant and animal species, including the elusive snow leopard and the Tibetan antelope. N.D. Thin Air Despite its inhospitable conditions, the Tibetan Plateau is home to a variety of unique plant and animal species, including the elusive snow leopard and the Tibetan antelope. Finally, in Europe, the Scottish Highlands are a famous rocky landscape. This rugged terrain is characterized by its rolling hills, rocky outcroppings, and deep blocks. The Scottish Highlands are also home to a variety of wildlife, including red deer, golden eagles, and otters, that have adapted to living in this challenging environment. Home to a variety of wildlife, including red deer, golden eagles, and otters, that have adapted to living in this challenging environment. Overall, rocky lands are some of the most unique and fascinating environments on Earth. These landscapes are characterized by their rugged terrain, sparse vegetation, and harsh climate conditions, and are home to a variety of unique plant and animal species that have adapted to living in these challenging environments. Despite their inhospitable conditions, rocky lands continue to captivate an eye. Are home to a variety of unique plant and animal species that have adapted to living in these challenging environments. Despite their inhospitable conditions, rocky lands continue to captivate an eye. Inspire us with their stark beauty and incredible natural diversity. Rocky lands are found in many parts of the world and support unique ecological communities adapted to harsh conditions. Rocky habitats include cliffs and escarpments, rocky mountains, boulder fields, scree slopes, talus accumulations, and outcrops. Plants and animals that inhabit these environments have evolved specialized adaptations to cope with challenges such as limited soil moisture, extreme. Scree slopes, talus accumulations, and outcrops. Plants and animals that inhabit these environments have evolved specialized adaptations to cope with challenges such as limited soil moisture, extreme. Temperatures, short growing seasons, and lack of shelter from predators. Cliffs and escarpments are steep rocky slopes that provide little usable space for plants to grow. However, some hardy herbs and grasses have adapted by growing in cracks and crevices. 
Masses and LIC. Inns often form mats that retain moisture for plant roots. Cliff faces provide ideal nesting sites for many bird species like peregrine falcons, ravens and crows. Rock outcrops nestled in cliff bases. Inns often form mats that retain moisture for plant roots. Cliff faces provide ideal nesting sites for many bird species like peregrine falcons, ravens and crows. Rock outcrops nestled in cliff bases. For refuge for animals including snakes, lizards and small mammals. Rocky Mountain ecosystems support distinct flora and fauna. Alpine plants have adapted to survive in harsh mountain conditions, developing short life cycles, low growth forms, and waxy coatings to re. Ooze water loss. Endemic wildflowers like alpine poppies and saxifrages color mountain scree slopes during short summer seasons. Higher elevation ridges and peaks provide habitat for animals like pika. Ooze water loss. Endemic wildflowers like alpine poppies and saxifrages color mountain scree slopes during short summer seasons. Higher elevation ridges and peaks provide habitat for animals like pika. Marmots, mountain goats, bighorn sheep and chamois that have adapted to forage on sparse mountain vegetation and negotiate steep terrain. Birds like ravens, eagles and snow finches also thrive in M. Boulder fields and tailless slopes are accumulations of rock debris that creep downhill under the influence of gravity. Some plants have adapted to grow in the spaces between boulders or directly in kra. K.S. Small herbs, mosses and lichens that can regrow after being crushed by rock movement often dominate tailless vegetation. Reptiles like rock lizards and snakes may use crevices in boulders as shelt. K.S. Small herbs, mosses and lichens that can regrow after being crushed by rock movement often dominate tailless vegetation. Reptiles like rock lizards and snakes may use crevices in boulders as shelt. Dot small mammals and burrowing rodents can occupy the spaces beneath and between boulders. Birds may perch and nest atop boulders to scan for prey in surrounding areas. Rocky outcrops that rise above level ground also support unique assemblages of plants and animals. Outcrops composed of nutrient-poor rock often harbor rare and endemic plant species specialized for. Our nutrient conditions. Plants growing in crevices within rock outcrops develop specialized root systems that can carefully infiltrate fissures. Many reptiles including horned lizards, skinks and jack. Our nutrient conditions. Plants growing in crevices within rock outcrops develop specialized root systems that can carefully infiltrate fissures. Many reptiles including horned lizards, skinks and jack. Os rely on rocky outcrops for sunning and sheltering. Small animals like pika, jerboa and warrens of rabbits may find refuge within and beneath rocky outcrops. Outcrops also provide places for birds. In summary, rocky lands across the world harbor diverse and fascinating plant and animal communities. Although offering limited resources, rocky landscapes provide important habitat for species that Animals living in the rocky environment Animals living in the rocky environment have adapted to the unique conditions these habitats provide. Rocky habitats are characterized by steep slopes, rocky outcrops, and often sparse vegetation. Th. Say habitats provide a unique and diverse range of species adapted to living in these conditions. Say habitats provide a unique and diverse range of species adapted to living in these conditions. The most common animals found in rocky environments are reptiles, such as snakes and lizards. These animals are able to survive in this environment because of their ability to tolerate the extreme te. Pritchers and lack of vegetation. 
Other animals found in rocky environments include birds, mammals, and certain fish species. Pritchers and lack of vegetation. Other animals found in rocky environments include birds, mammals, and certain fish species. Birds are the most common animals found in rocky habitats and are often found nesting in the crevices and cracks that make up these habitats. They feed on insects, which are abundant in these environs. Ants, and use their keen eyesight to find their way around. Mammals such as rabbits and foxes are also found in rocky environments, and are typically found near the water sources that are often found. Ants, and use their keen eyesight to find their way around. Mammals such as rabbits and foxes are also found in rocky environments, and are typically found near the water sources that are often found. And these habitats. They feed on small invertebrates and are very sensitive to changes in their environment. Fish species such as the stonefish and the blind cavefish are also found in rocky environments. These fish have adapted to living in the dark and have lost the ability to see. They rely on their sense of smell and vibration to find food and navigate their environment. Of smell and vibration to find food and navigate their environment. Rocky environments provide a unique and diverse range of species adapted to living in these conditions. These animals have adapted to the extreme temperatures and lack of vegetation and are able to s. Arvive in these habitats. Birds, mammals, and certain fish species are all adapted to living in rocky environments and provide a unique and interesting insight into the diversity of species that can s. Arvive in these habitats. Birds, mammals, and certain fish species are all adapted to living in rocky environments and provide a unique and interesting insight into the diversity of species that can s. Arvive in these habitats. Animals living in rocky environments face a unique set of challenges and opportunities. These environments can vary widely in terms of their physical characteristics, ranging from towering cliffs and rocky outcroppings to underground caves and crevices. Rocky environments are often characterized by their sparse vegetation and harsh climate conditions, which can make it difficult for animals to fly. Rocky outcroppings to underground caves and crevices. Rocky environments are often characterized by their sparse vegetation and harsh climate conditions, which can make it difficult for animals to fly. D food and shelter. Despite these challenges, many species of animals have evolved specialized adaptations that allow them to thrive in rocky environments. For example, some species of birds, such as eagles and peregrine. Falcons have developed strong talons and powerful wings that allow them to navigate the rugged terrain and snatch prey from the air. Other animals, such as mountain goats and bighorn sheep, have ev. Falcons have developed strong talons and powerful wings that allow them to navigate the rugged terrain and snatch prey from the air. Other animals, such as mountain goats and bighorn sheep, have ev. Both specialized hooves that allow them to climb steep rock faces and navigate narrow ledges with ease. Rocky environments are also home to a variety of reptiles, such as lizards and snakes, that are able to survive in the harsh conditions of these environments. These animals are often able to find she. Tear in the crevices and cracks of rocky outcroppings, where they are protected from predators and extreme weather conditions. Some species of reptiles, such as the horned lizard, have even developed. Tear in the crevices and cracks of rocky outcroppings, where they are protected from predators and extreme weather conditions. Some species of reptiles, such as the horned lizard, have even developed. Specialized camouflage that allows them to blend in with their rocky surroundings, making them difficult for predators to spot. In addition to reptiles and birds, 
rocky environments are also home to a variety of mammals, such as marmots, chipmunks, and ground squirrels. These animals are able to find food and shelter in the R. CKY terrain, often burrowing into the ground or crevices to escape the harsh climate conditions. Some species, such as the mountain lion and bobcat, are also able to hunt and prey on smaller animals. CKY terrain, often burrowing into the ground or crevices to escape the harsh climate conditions. Some species, such as the mountain lion and bobcat, are also able to hunt and prey on smaller animals. Had inhabit these rocky environments. Despite the challenges of living in rocky environments, many animals are able to find ample food and shelter in these environments. Rocky environments often support a variety of plant life, including succulent plants, shrubs, and trees that are able to thrive in the rocky soil. These plants, in turn, attract a variety of herbivorous animals, such as deer, elk, and rabbits, which provide food for succulent plants, shrubs, and trees that are able to thrive in the rocky soil. These plants, in turn, attract a variety of herbivorous animals, such as deer, elk, and rabbits, which provide food for Redditors such as coyotes, foxes, and birds of prey. Overall, animals living in rocky environments have adapted to the unique challenges and opportunities of these environments in a variety of ways. From powerful talents and hooves to specialized camouf. Age and burrowing behaviors, these animals demonstrate the incredible adaptability and resilience of life on Earth. As scientists continue to study these fascinating creatures, we will undoubtedly la. Age and burrowing behaviors, these animals demonstrate the incredible adaptability and resilience of life on Earth. As scientists continue to study these fascinating creatures, we will undoubtedly la. RN even more about the unique challenges and opportunities of life in rocky environments. Rocky environments provide unique challenges and opportunities for animals. Many species have adapted specialized physical, physiological, and behavioral traits to enable them to thrive in areas with limited resources, extremes in temperature and exposure. Limited resources, extremes in temperature and exposure. Reptiles often dominate rocky environments due to their low water requirements laying of leathery eggs, and ability to bask in the sun. Lizards and snakes utilize rock crevices for shelter, retreat. O cooler rocks to regulate their body temperature and ambush prey from hiding places. Horn lizards have body armor and lie in wait for insects to blunder onto exposed rocks. Gila monsters and bead. O cooler rocks to regulate their body temperature and ambush prey from hiding places. Horn lizards have body armor and lie in wait for insects to blunder onto exposed rocks. Gila monsters and bead. D lizards dig burrows beneath rocks for shelter. Small mammals have also evolved adaptations for life among rocks. Pikas collect plants and store them as hay piles under boulders to survive cold winters. Their compact bodies allow them to squeeze in. O tight crevices for shelter. Jerboas, small hopping rodents, have oversized hind legs and live mainly above ground in rocks and clumps of brush. Their large ears allow them to detect predators. Rabbi? O tight crevices for shelter. Jerboas, small hopping rodents, have oversized hind legs and live mainly above ground in rocks and clumps of brush. Their large ears allow them to detect predators. Rabbi? S and hares utilize rocky environments for cover from predators, digging burrows and cavities beneath rocks and boulders. Invertebrates like insects, spiders, centipedes and millipedes thrive in the nooks and crannies of rocky habitats. Many ground-dwelling insect species complete their life cycles beneath rocks. Beetle 
caterpillars, crickets and grasshoppers find refuge from desiccating conditions and predators under rocks. Spiders construct webs between rocks and boulders to catch insects. Centipedes and millipi. Caterpillars, crickets and grasshoppers find refuge from desiccating conditions and predators under rocks. Spiders construct webs between rocks and boulders to catch insects. Centipedes and millipi. S forage at night on organic matter that collects beneath rocks. Birds tend to use rocky environments primarily for feeding, hunting, and nesting. Ravens, crows and other corvids search for food in rocky areas and use crevices and cliff faces for nesting. Eagles and Other birds of prey perch on tall rocky outcrops while scanning for available prey on surrounding flat plains. Swifts, swallows and other insectivorous birds hunt insects that circulate above rocks. Other birds of prey perch on tall rocky outcrops while scanning for available prey on surrounding flat plains. Swifts, swallows and other insectivorous birds hunt insects that circulate above rocks. Common Types of Vegetation in the World Common types of vegetation in the world are an important part of the global environment and they provide a variety of benefits to the planet and its inhabitants. Vegetation is any form of plant life. From trees and shrubs to grasses and mosses, and it can be found in a variety of habitats, from forests and wetlands to deserts and mountains. From trees and shrubs to grasses and mosses, and it can be found in a variety of habitats, from forests and wetlands to deserts and mountains. One of the most common types of vegetation in the world is trees. Trees are essential for the health of the planet, as they provide food and shelter for a variety of species, help to regulate the what? Our cycle, and absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Trees can be found in a variety of habitats, from forests to deserts, and they are often the dominant form of vegetation in these areas. Our cycle, and absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Trees can be found in a variety of habitats, from forests to deserts, and they are often the dominant form of vegetation in these areas. Grasses are another common type of vegetation, and they can be found in a variety of habitats, from wetlands to deserts. Grasses provide food and shelter for a variety of species, and they help to re- You late the water cycle by absorbing water and releasing it during times of drought. In addition, grasses can help to reduce soil erosion, as they help to hold the soil in place. You late the water cycle by absorbing water and releasing it during times of drought. In addition, grasses can help to reduce soil erosion, as they help to hold the soil in place. Shrubs are also a common type of vegetation, and they can be found in a variety of habitats, from forests to deserts. Shrubs provide food and shelter for a variety of species, and they can also help. O reduce soil erosion, as they help to hold the soil in place. In addition, shrubs can help to regulate the water cycle by absorbing water and releasing it during times of drought. O reduce soil erosion, as they help to hold the soil in place. In addition, shrubs can help to regulate the water cycle by absorbing water and releasing it during times of drought. Common types of vegetation in the world are an important part of the global environment, and they provide a variety of benefits to the planet and its inhabitants. From trees and shrubs to grasses and Mosses, these vegetation types are essential for the health of the planet and its inhabitants. It is essential that we protect and conserve these habitats in order to ensure their continued existence. Mosses, these vegetation types are essential for the health of the planet and its inhabitants. It is essential that we protect and conserve these habitats in order to ensure their continued existence. 
Vegetation is an essential component of the Earth's ecosystem, providing a range of ecological, economic, and cultural benefits. The world is home to a wide variety of plant species, ranging from toe. Ring trees and lush forests to arid deserts and grassy plains. Although there are countless types of vegetation found around the world, some of the most common include forests, grasslands, wetlands. Ring trees and lush forests to arid deserts and grassy plains. Although there are countless types of vegetation found around the world, some of the most common include forests, grasslands, wetlands. ND Deserts Forests are one of the most important types of vegetation in the world, covering around 31% of the Earth's land surface. Forests are characterized by their dense tree cover, which provides important habitat for a range of plant and animal species. Forests are also important for their role in regulating the Earth's climate, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and releasing oxygen through habitat for a range of plant and animal species. Forests are also important for their role in regulating the Earth's climate, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and releasing oxygen through. Hotosynthesis Grasslands are another common type of vegetation found around the world. These landscapes are characterized by their open, grassy terrain, which is home to a variety of herbivorous animals such as bi. On, gazelles, and antelopes. Grasslands are important for their role in supporting agriculture and other human activities, providing grazing land for livestock and fertile soil for crop cultivation. On, gazelles, and antelopes. Grasslands are important for their role in supporting agriculture and other human activities, providing grazing land for livestock and fertile soil for crop cultivation. Wetlands are also an important type of vegetation found around the world, characterized by their waterlogged terrain and unique hydrology. Wetlands are home to a wide range of plant and animal species, many of which are adapted to living in waterlogged environments. Wetlands are also important for their role in regulating water flow, absorbing and storing large amounts of water during periods of many of which are adapted to living in waterlogged environments. Wetlands are also important for their role in regulating water flow, absorbing and storing large amounts of water during periods of EV rainfall and then slowly releasing that water over time. Deserts are another common type of vegetation found around the world, characterized by their arid climate and sparse plant cover. Despite their harsh conditions, deserts are home to a variety of plant and animal species that have adapted to living in these challenging environments. Some of the most common desert plants include cacti, succulents, and other drought-tolerant species. and animal species that have adapted to living in these challenging environments. Some of the most common desert plants include cacti, succulents, and other drought-tolerant species. Overall, the world is home to a wide variety of vegetation types, each with its unique characteristics and ecological importance. As we continue to study and understand these important ecosystems, it is essential that we take action to protect and conserve them, ensuring that they continue to provide the many benefits that we rely on for our survival and well-being. Is essential that we take action to protect and conserve them, ensuring that they continue to provide the many benefits that we rely on for our survival and well-being. Vegetation covers much of the Earth's surface and exists in a wide variety of forms adapted to different environmental conditions. Some common types of vegetation found worldwide include forests, gra, slands, shrublands, wetland plants, tundra, and cultivated crops. 
grasslands, shrublands, wetland plants, tundra, and cultivated crops. Forests are expansive areas dominated by tree cover. They occur in moist tropical, temperate and boreal regions. Tropical rainforests have the greatest plant diversity with numerous hardwood trees. Ies and abundant epiphytes, lianas, and herbaceous plants. Temperate forests feature both coniferous trees like pines, spruces, firs and broadleaf trees like oaks, maples and birches. Boreal forests. Ies and abundant epiphytes, lianas, and herbaceous plants. Temperate forests feature both coniferous trees like pines, spruces, firs and broadleaf trees like oaks, maples and birches. Boreal forests. Recharacterized by cold adaptive tree species like spruces, larches, and jack pines. Forests provide valuable ecosystem services like regulating climate, sequestering carbon, filtering water, and sue. Grasslands are areas dominated by grasses and forbs. They occur on all continents except Antarctica. Tall grass prairies once covered vast areas of central North America but now only small remnants re. Aimed due to agricultural conversion. Short grass prairies still cover large areas of the western Great Plains. African savannas feature a mix of grasses and scattered trees. Steppe grasslands occur on. Aimed due to agricultural conversion. Short grass prairies still cover large areas of the western Great Plains. African savannas feature a mix of grasses and scattered trees. Steppe grasslands occur on. He semi arid regions bordering deserts in Asia and eastern Europe. Tussock grasslands are found in cool, moist climates like the South Island of New Zealand and parts of Patagonia. Grasslands provide Shrublands are areas dominated by woody shrubs less than 5 meters tall. Shrub species include sagebrush, chaparral, heathlands, and succulent shrubs. Mojave Desert and coastal California are home to Ivers shrublands. Mediterranean climate shrublands called maki occur around the Mediterranean basin. Taiga shrublands characterize the transition zone from tundra to boreal forest. Succulent shrub. Ivers shrublands. Mediterranean climate shrublands called maki occur around the Mediterranean basin. Taiga shrublands characterize the transition zone from tundra to boreal forest. Succulent shrub. Ants characterize areas with low, unpredictable rainfall like the Karoo region of South Africa. Shrublands provide habitat for diverse species and stabilize soils prone to erosion. Wetland plants are hydrophytic species adapted to saturated soils. They include sedges, rushes, reeds, cattails, and sphagnum mosses. Wetland plants stabilize wetland soils, regulate hydrology through. Evapotranspiration, and provide detritus that fuels the base of wetland food webs. Wetland plants also take up excess nutrients and filter sediments and pollutants from runoff. Major wetland types sue. Evapotranspiration, and provide detritus that fuels the base of wetland food webs. Wetland plants also take up excess nutrients and filter sediments and pollutants from runoff. Major wetland types sue. Port unique wetland plant communities including swamps, marshes, fens and bogs. Tundra vegetation is characterized by dwarf shrubs, sedges, grasses, mosses and lichens. Tundra occurs in treeless, polar regions with cold climates and short growing seasons. Some dominant plant tup. S include heath shrubs like blueberry and cranberry, Cotton grass sedges and sphagnum mosses. Vascular plants have low, mat forming growth to withstand scouring winds. Cryptogamic plants, including LIC.